any excuses, dear. You were supposed to be back here about mm, ten minutes ago. Hm. I said ish on the internet because give or take ten minutes. I don't know. I don't want to hear any excuses. You know where you're supposed to be and what you are supposed to be doing. Oh, you can apologize all you want to, dear, but it seems like I'm going to have to end up punishing you after all. Oh? What's that? Begging for forgiveness. Hmm. I suppose I could show you mercy, but... You've done this so many times, dear, and it would take the fun out of everything I'm trying to do. So, how are you going to make up for your mishap? Hmm? I'm making a very convincing argument, you know. Perhaps I should punish you in a way that I know how to properly punish those who I own. Now then, mm, next time you disobey me, I will make sure that your entire soul is ripped apart until nothing remains of you. Do I make myself clear? Good. Now that we have that established, we will be communicating through walkie-talkies, the form of communication that I'm only accepting to because they work with tiny miniature radios in your pocket. Yes, indeedy. The word walkie-talkie just brings a smile to my face. <laughs> walkie-talkie. Such a wonderful word to say. Walkie-talkie. 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 Such a wonderful word, in indeed. Indeedy. But yes, go over there and I shall communicate with how um, I usually do through this tiny radio device. Okay? Alrighty, here we go. Do you hear me over there? You do? Perfect. Well, you can hear me. Therefore, we shouldn't have any issues processing each other's words and communication uh, correctly. All right, with that being said, shoot now. Go get my overcoat tailored while I sit back and sip on some black coffee. Oh, you can hear me humming with a walkie-talkie, huh? Well, have you arrived at the tailors yet? Oh, you just did? Oh, well, I'll stop my humming so you can present yourself to the tailor. And remember, I wanted the same color, not different. Just because it's red doesn't mean any type of red works with the overcoat. Anyways, bye. Welcome to my tailor shop. What can I do you for? Woohoo! Looks like you got a tear from a coat there. You, perhaps you need a mend. You want it fixed? Well, I can see what I can do here. Yep, just let me bring out my special tools. Ooh, this must be Alistair the Radio Demon's overcoat. Not once have he ever brought it to me with a tear. Well, I can see what I can do. He is one of my finest customers there is. So what brings you here? Oh, you must be one of his souls that he has on a leash, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if that offends you. Because he's an overlord, so they suspected he had one of his goons or servants to bring his fashionably adoring piece of clothing to me for me to fix. Oh, that Alistair, he's such a hoot. Let me get out my sewing supplies. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. Sewing needle. And what kind of red is this? Is that a crimson? Or is that a... Mm, burgundy is not. It's more like a crimson dark here. Yeah, right here, right here. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. And one stitch. And two stitch. Three stitch. Four. Five stitch. Six stitch. Seven. Eight. There we go, my friend. It is all right here. Right here. Done and over with. Simple fix it was. I won't even charge it because it's Alistair's clothing. So, you have a good time and... Make sure you come back, okay? You're so sweet. Thank you for your time. Quick fix it was. Quick fix it was. Well, I'm quite sure you think so, old friend. 
My colleague said, Alistair, I haven't seen you in eons. Come on by next time, chap, and I'll give you a free tailoring on the house. I might even do your shoes. You're in for a new pair, you know. I may consider it on my next outing, but you have a good one, old chap. I'm going to bring this one right on back. Tell me all and whatnot. Have a good one. Alrighty, so now that you're on your way back, don't forget to stop at the butcher shop to get my venison. Remember, silver with no fat. Silver with no fat. Get it right. Welcome to my shop. What can I do for you? Oh, you're looking for some medicine, huh? Well, lucky for you, I got some fresh one right here in the back. My pillow old. But I appreciate a customer who likes meat. All kinds of meat. Now, how many cuts are we talking about? Uh-huh. So no fat, right? I got you. Don't even worry about it. It's not going to have any fat when I'm done with it. Not a single sliver of grizzle. Now, I hope you like it, because there's no refunds, and there's no exchange of meat-based products due to the sanitation laws of down here in hell. So, make sure that you enjoy every single bit of that. And look, no fat, okay? Now you have a good one. Bye. Now that you've secured the medicine, make yourself useful and come back here. So that, um, I can properly punish you the way that I'd like. you explain to me why I shouldn't punish you for the lack of obedience that you've been causing me lately. Because I don't know if you know this, but I am very displeased with the actions that you've taken recently. <sighs> but I will say this. I'm not as angry as I could be, or as I should be. But your punishment is simply watching the Bambi movie with me. <laughs> and not just once, but three times. <laughs> is watching the Bambi movie with me because Charlie did that on me and she would have watched it with me. So now it is your thought. You're my servant. No if, ands, or buts. You're going to watch what I will watch. You're going to eat what I want you to eat. And, well, other words, <laughs> I want to tie you down to the bed and do unspeakable things to you. Until you scream out my name so loudly that all of hell's windows break in every single household apartment within the vicinity of the bride ring itself. Then again, you may enjoy that. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go watch a movie! <laughs> now, where's that popcorn? I just love popcorn. <laughs> 